It's finals day at the Shanghai Rolex Masters, as just two men remain to fight it out to be crowned this year's champion in China. Defending champion Andy Murray had the opportunity to take the number three spot from Roger Federer in the rankings, knocking the Swiss ace out of the top three for the first time in eight years. Standing in his way, hard-working David Ferrer, who is having the best year of his career, and this week confirmed his place at the Barclays ATP World Tour Finals. Into the action, and after an early exchange of breaks, there was little to separate the pair, with both players attempting to dominate from the back of the court. Brilliant tennis and a great perspective of how much court these guys cover and how hard they hit the ball. The opening set looked destined for a tie break until a lapsing concentration from Ferrer gifted his opponent the break and with it the opening set. Finishing very confidently indeed. Murray was gunning for his third consecutive title in as many weeks after successes in Bangkok and Tokyo. And with a set and a break to his advantage, the hat-trick looked to be on the cards. And a wonderful response. Murray has been in fine form of late, notching up 24 wins out of 25. And as the match progressed, the streak looked likely to continue. Ferrer will have to wait for that first Masters 1000 crown. <laughs> I'll tell you what. He's waving that wand very nicely at the moment. He's had a terrific tournament and a fantastic Asian swing with titles in Bangkok and Tokyo. And he's got an opportunity here to also taste success in Shanghai. A comfortable victory in the end for Murray. His second Masters Series 1000 title of the season after also winning in Cincinnati. And the eighth Masters Series 1000 title of his career. And of course that means Murray will move ahead of Federer when the new rankings are announced on Monday. A winner today in straight sets, 7-5, 6-4. I served very well for most of the match and that was really the difference. Uh, I played some some good tennis um, at the right moments I think and held held strong at the end hit some good first serves when I needed them and that was the that was the difference he maybe didn't make as many first serves on the big points as as me but uh, it was a very tough match so that's it from the Shanghai Rolex Masters up next for the 1000 series is the BMP Paribas Masters from Paris the final test before the Barclays ATP World Tour finals in London